Hello everybody, Mr. Fix-It here. I am going to make my first attempt at using an epoxy to refinish these ridiculously old countertops, laminate. Uh, we'll do something different with the backsplash, but right now I want to see uh, what I can do using this product, uh, Rust-Oleum countertop coating. One can will do 25 square feet. I may not have enough. This is total practice. So you guys get to watch me fail miserably or do something quite impressive. They offer 16 different colors. What we chose was gray mist. We like the gray and then we'll, we'll update the knobs and stuff like that as we go along. Uh, we're doing this on a zero budget my wife and I after purchasing this home we have nothing left so let's see how I can do with no money so I'm going to begin by uh, setting up you're going to score the counter up a little bit with a very very light sandpaper just score it up and then you want to wipe it down with an ancient alcohol or some water make sure it's nice and clean before you start um, now this is what I've been told Again, I've never done this before, so I'm going on what I've been told. I'm taking that information and I'm trying to pass it on to you, and you can watch to see if it works okay. Um, this is a roller. It's just a sponge. They said to use a sponge roller so we don't get you don't have any fur that gets stuck in there using the other types of rollers. Although if you use a real high-end roller, you won't have that problem. So I have a basic little kit here, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape off where I don't want this to go, and uh, I'll be right back. We'll give it a shot. Okay, so... We taped it all off with your blue tape. Probably overkill down here, but I just want to drip. We've got the plastic down. Tape around everything you're going to protect. So we're all set there. Oh, this is wicked important. I'm telling you right now, on a Sunday, and you know, when you're doing this shit, gotta have a Bud Light. Okay, don't get drunk. All right, so now we're going to move to the sandpaper scenario. And we're just going to do a quick I'm just going to score it. You just want to score the countertop, make little score lines like this very lightly. That's all you want to do. And the reason for this is because this is so slippery. You're, uh, although you can paint this um, product right to the top, it's not advised to do that because it could still peel at some point. So I advise doing this with anything you paint, really, that's like this. If you're going to do any type of appliances, you want to scuff them up a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to scuff all this countertop up and then uh, we'll be back after that to, to uh, paint her in, see what happens. Two, go. All right, so we've got it all cleaned off, dusted, sanded. Got my little five dollar kit here. Let's see what the hell happens, ladies and gentle germs. Probably going to require two coats, I can tell already. I know it says to work as quickly as possible, because it does set up quick. Other than spreading it evenly, there's no rhyme or reason to the directions. You go with your roller as long as you're covering properly. Getting your corners good. There's no doubt this is going to require probably two coats. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll just keep rolling along here and see how it comes out. Interesting. It's the first time I use this stuff and I can feel a difference in comparison to paint when you're spreading it. you got to work it a little quicker because you can tell it dries faster. That's probably the epoxy makeup of this all. Not probably, it definitely is. And you also see the kind of roller I'm using. It's a smaller roller. It's a little bit more intimate that way rather than the big, big old roller. My wife chose this color, and she's got a little scheme going on, we'll see 
how it works. Don't argue with your wife. What she wants is what she gets. Do what you're told. Okay, she says she wants orange with blue polka dots. It's her damn house. Put the orange with blue polka dots. Shut the hell up and go make your money. Get out of the house so she doesn't have to deal with you. All right, we're going to move right along here. I don't want to bore the shit out of you with my dumb stories. You know I'm probably a very entertaining guy. I'm going to move along here. We'll come back when it's finished. We'll give you the, the first coat final and see how it came out with first coat. And then we'll come back and we'll do um, video two for the second. But uh, I'll be right back again. Go. All right, so take a look at this actually. This is the first coat. See how it's mobilizing through? I mean, it actually looks pretty good that way. I don't know. We're going to see what it looks like tomorrow when it's fully dry. But, I mean, take a look. This isn't going to dry this dock either. It's not going to dry like this color. It's supposed to dry a, a more neutral tannish brown. This is just the way it's going on. Um, plus, the under counter is going to make it look a little different in color too. But, step back and we'll take a peek at that. And it's, I mean, it looks pretty darn good. First time... Let me tell you, that can was 15, 15 bucks, I think. Yeah, I think it was $15 for a quart. And I only used half the quart to do this so far. I think I scored. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I gotta have to paint the refrigerator, and I'm painting the, I'm gonna reglaze the tub. So stay tuned, there's gonna be some good stuff coming. Have a nice day.